Catch. Catch, just move a bit, move. He's just gonna kick me with the front leg. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time I'm gonna scoop to the side, I'm gonna keep looking dead straight, and as I pull, you're just gonna come straight into the body. Let them just drop into you. They have to protect a part of their body. As they're falling, unless you've got some stupidly long arms, you're not gonna be able to protect from there to there. And let's say, you know, we do it, catch, yeah, bam. And I do that, so I pull and I go, whoop, bam. And he does protect himself. Next time he's gonna expose his head. Okay, so he kinda has to give that up, yeah? And again, catch. Okay, it's a really nice, powerful body shot. The first round, you'll throw the back leg. Sorry, the first time you throw the back leg, and you'll pull an overhand, and then the second time you throw the front leg, and you'll pull, and you'll scoop in and body hook. Chris throws a front kick, and I catch it, yeah? Oh, boom. Now, that's all I'm gonna do from here is take his leg, I'm gonna push and pull to the side, I'm gonna pull his leg down so that he wants to, I help him land it, and then throw that overhand that we done earlier. Don't throw it down straight away, keep all of it first. So, move in, catch, just move a bit, move, and then over. It's a really powerful shot because his, his head's coming straight into it. I wait for him, catch, move a bit, pull, and then throw over the top. But just work on your accuracy first. Work on the leg staying close to you so that when he's, yeah, go on. When he's here, I want him to think that I'm sort of giving him a hand. Yeah, I don't want to throw it all the way over here. I just want to pull it, bump, and then I want to pull it down to the side of me so that I can pull this hand out on the way and then swim it over. Yeah, so I'm there, straight over the top. All good? So we're gonna play a really simple game. We're basically just gonna try and low kick one another, but instead of blocking or taking it, you're trying to jump back and get out the way. So it's just a game of like distance. You just start. <laughs> okay, really good to warm up. And you're just constantly back and forth. Just keep going, keep going. If you can, Try not to run up and down. Try to try not where you're circling around. Back and forth, you're jumping back, but you're not going back far enough so that you can't reset. You're trying to like, if Lauren kicks me slowly, I jump back and then I'm trying to attack that leg before it gets back. Or she does it again. I go for that one and then I change to the next one. Questions, all good? No? Cool. So the first one's just gonna be dead still. I'm just gonna go and then back. The second one, I'm gonna take a step forward like I did then. I'm gonna step and then I'm gonna pull all my weight back and then try and whip through that pad. Okay, nice and simple, yeah? And again. One more. Everything you've got, but the amount of force that you throw is the amount of force you pull back. It's not a big punch and then a half a pull back. It needs to be the same. Pretty simple. Uh, same thing in reverse, one hook. Yeah, one, then I'm gonna step. One, two, okay. All good? Any questions on that? No, cool. Okay, thanks for this. Um, so, go ahead, mate. So, this is just intercepting my low kick, so cross, now he's kicked me back, and then I need to That's the biggest thing, just the solo, just practice slipping off that. Okay, so he goes there, he goes punch. Now, as he does this, yeah, head just will not send by. Because I'm going to throw my hand up as he kicks. I'm just saying, this way. Hand comes out, and then you're going to bomb kick. So there we go. One, two, three. Then, one, two, three. Easy. Mm -hmm. Need any more explanation? No. No, pretty simple. Yeah, okay. Sure? One more time? All good? No? Go, let's go!